All right, let's finish chapter six. Um, let's continue with IPv6 addressing. The IPv6 address is made up of 60 hextets. So each numbers is made up of 16 bits. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times 16 is 128. Okay, and they are separated by a colon, not by dots. All right, so here's a typical IP address, 20,001ADB00. Um, typically, what's the first 64 bits, which is the 201ADP00, indicates what time, where in the world you are from, who's your ISP, and who's your company. The, the fourth hex that means what subnet you are in. So you got 16 bits. So 2 to the 16, it tells you how many subnets you can create. And the last six. The last 64 bits identify the host, all right? So that's what that means. Okay, so the preferred format is you write everything down, but if you can eliminate the non-significant zero, so you can write it this way, and in fact, you can also eliminate the, cons uh, the zeros that are concerned. Uh, one right after the other, um, then you can put an empty column between them, even shrink it, make it more concise. All right. So that rule number one on how to omitting zero. So take a copy of this or write it down. And then, like I said, when you have a double calling, will any with contiguous strings of one zeros like these zeros? You could have empty quality. This way, if you read this, it's a little bit more compressed, more concise, you can come back and rewrite this, right? So you'll know you have one, two, three, four, five hextet. You know that in here you need three zeros. And then you can fill them out. Each one of them has to have four. So this one needs a zero. This one needs three zeros. This doesn't need any. This would need a zero. And the three zeros that are in here each consists of four zeros, right? So you can always get back from the compressed all the way back. So write rule number one, two there. We'll go over this in class too. All right, like I said, the first four 64 is like your network address and the last 64 on the right is your host. Typically, this first 64 is given to you by your default gateway using either the... Um, the Slack, the stateless auto configuration, or even by a DHCP. And the last 64 bit, you create your own. That's pretty much how it's done. Um, you randomly pick up a number and then check to make sure anyone else in your land picked it up. So that's how the IP address is done. So please also watch this video. I think it's very, very important for you uh, to watch it. And it goes into, into details on how layer two and layer three addresses and IPv6 addresses and so on. So that's a good video to watch. All right, and that's it. So we only had really a couple of other, a couple of, um, a couple of uh, slides to look at, but that ends chapter six. All right, so um, I'm not gonna stop it right here. Just submit what you I told you to submit for um, <clears throat> the notes. And then I will see you in chapter seven.